Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome to Airport Sim. This is a bit different. We've mastered how to fly a plane, but can we actually run an airport? I don't know. This is a game that's just come out. Uh, it is priced at £26.99. It's got 10% off currently. It should be £29.99. So it's quite expensive to say we've never heard of this game before, or I've certainly never heard of this game before. Uh, having a look on the Steam reviews, it was saying mixed, so I'm really not quite sure what to expect today. But a couple of people were recommending it in the stream last night or the night before, or the night before, or three weeks ago, or two months ago, no matter how, well, it depends when you're watching it really, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, a couple of people were saying, oh, this is out, you should go check it out. So here we are. I'm not sure what to expect, like I say. Uh, I have already gone on the workshop and downloaded some funky liveries. So, uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to see those in game. Uh, we have got, obviously, new game, tutorials, which I think we're gonna visit today, because I've got no idea what I'm doing. Uh, multiplayer. Exciting. Everyone loves a bit of multiplayer. Uh, extras. Livery manager. Ooh, see I've downloaded Aegean, Air France, Alaskan. Uh, we'll get rid of Alaskan, I don't want that. Uh, we'll go with the European. What's Dot by Tuska? Uh, right, don't want that. We'll stick with the Germalia. Germaline? Heck. Giggity goo, we'll get rid of that. Luftwaffles. Oh, well we're keeping Luftwaffles, obviously. Uh, Orbit, that's a bit of a flight sim. Uh, Throwback, isn't it? SAS Swiss, and we'll get rid of uh, we'll get rid of trucks radio. Luft waffles, that's fantastic. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Says it's on the 737 as well. Is uh, is old love? Oh no, it's an A320. There we go. Right. Uh, so we'll, we'll save all that. Scenario manager, funky. Yeah, let's go on. I mean, what's what's this? We'll uh, right. We'll, we'll we'll go with tutorials. Yeah. So uh, the tablet. Let's have a look at that first of all. I'm assuming that's something. We, uh, we have to use. I, I really am quite interested to see this. The trailer really did paint it as quite a fun little game. Right, here we Oh! Beautiful Vagar Airport, situated on the Faroe Islands. Ooh. In this tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about the tablet. The tablet is an important part Don't want to get run over. It's oh, it's a 737 Max look. It's got the. Uh, it's got it the. Ooh. Everything you need to know to be able to perform tasks on the ground. Okay. Oh, you can you can put your headphone on and off. Oh, now it's loud. Oh, now it's quiet. That's funky. Like that. Right. Oh, right. So this is how we look around. Oh, there's a there's a plane. Ha <laughs> ha Fun. Tab to open the tablet. That's easy enough. Named operations. You'll discover and find all data about incoming and outgoing flights you're due to handle. Okay. So we're hiring. Uh, we're hiring. We're handling a Warsaw chopping. I know it's Chopin, but doesn't Chopin sound so much more fun? Right, there we go. So it's on the left. What we've got to handle? Tab, as the name suggests, there's a map of the airport displaying your current position and all available vehicles and aircraft to be used. Can we can we click that? And in the final tab named Weather, you'll find all the options available to manipulate weather conditions at your present location. Heck, so I am technically God. I can manipulate the weather. Excellent. We if it's not what we want, we'll just change it. Detail. Right. The screen is divided into two columns. Excellent. Yes, this one and this one. The left-hand side acts as a timetable for all flights that are scheduled to take place at the airport on the present day, but divided into arrivals yep. and departures. Got that. At the top, there's a button that filters the flights and shows only the ones you're assigned to handle on the day. Excellent. Each flight is displayed in an ordered grid where all the information you'll need is displayed. Arrival time, flight number, arrival or departure location, and stand number are located on the left. Yes. The right hand side displays a list of tasks you'll have to complete when handling the aircraft. Yep, we can do that. See to those flashing? Tasks are arranged in the order in which they should be completed. Funky, yeah, I like when that. You complete an action, it'll be crossed off, and those which are yet to be performed have empty markers on the left side of each task title. Yep. Now we'll head to the map tab. Excellent. There we go. Oh wow. Okay. While so that's me. Vagar, you won't need the map too much. However, at larger airports such as Keflavik or Warsaw, it will be a major player in getting to where you need to be. The map features will show you the quickest route to your destination. And in addition, the location of available airport vehicles, Ooh. aircraft, and aircraft stands. 
Oh, I like this. Right, so where's Vagar? Go on then, shout out. Where is it? Well, obviously I'm there. Pretty much everything to help you navigate the apron. To navigate the map, use the controls displayed on screen. Yeah. Use that. Oh, yeah, and we can we can spin that round. Lovely. To zoom in and out, use the controls displayed on to rotate the yeah. view. Yeah, got that. The GPS view is always centered on your position and rotate around it. Is. It is, yes, I can verify this. And finally, the weather tab. Ah, funky. At the top, right. you'll notice that two different clocks are displayed. Yes, there's the, there's the clock and the UTC clock. The first one from the left okay. displays the local time at the airport, and the second one shows UTC time, which is used as a common time zone in aviation. Oh yeah, Vagar is in the Faroe Islands, is, is it? Yeah, I'm sure he said UTC that. UTC time is calculated relative to the prime meridian passing through the famous town in the United Kingdom, Greenwich, which is also known as the centre of time. I did not know it was known as the centre of time. Below the clocks, <laughs> you'll find a slider that allows you to manipulate the time in airport sim. Well, we don't want to do that or all the flights will go late. You'll find a calendar where you can select any date. Try it for yourself and see how the height of the sun changes depending on the time of year. Right, well, this is this is the 20th of so October. The button will automatically set so yeah, we'll uh, right. We'll we'll go with the live one. Oh wow! That is awesome. Right, I want to do that now. Get rid of that. Yeah, they're not interested in any of that. Yeah. This is quite a difficult tutorial, and I don't mean difficult as in I'm struggling with it. I mean difficult as in this chap does a lot of talking, and it's quite simple. And adjust individual weather conditions. On the left, there is a visualization of the cloud height. Okie dokie. The lower line corresponds to the height of the cloud base above sea level. The upper line displays the height of cloud tops. Okay. Adjustments of weather conditions are done in real time and do not need to be applied like time changes. Want live weather? Job. You've now learned how to use the tablet in Airport Sim. In the next tutorial, you'll be on your way to learning the basics of ground handling. Excellent. Right. Oh. Oh, so we can't even click the live weather. That's annoying. Right, back to the menu. So we know how to use the tablet. You press tab and everything is very self-explanatory. Self okay, I mean, that's fine. It's a necessity. I realise that was probably one of the most boring tutorials we've ever been through. I'm, uh, I'm really hoping that, uh, and you see, the menu does take quite a while to load. You end up with these dots in the corner. Uh, I have noticed that. It is a very, very slow menu to load. Hey, oh my lord, practically blinded. Right, so we've learnt the tablet. Let's learn the follow me car. Oh, it's a Sateno bus. Sateno co bus. Well, Seabus 3000. The most popular shuttle bus on earth. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Provides room for passengers up to 110 standing. Give over. No, it doesn't. Well, it must do. It says it there. Right. Oh. Now you'll learn about one I've got of hands. The essential vehicles contributing to the everyday function of an airport. Well, that's oh, it's the here. Oh, don't vehicle. go in the red thing because that's dangerous. Its general purpose is to guide aircraft to designated parking gates or specific areas of the airport safely. It's used when arriving pilots are unfamiliar with the airport or when the aircraft requires special What is it then? Is it a, is it a Toyota? I'm feeling it's a Toyota. Is it a Hilux? Follow me vehicle parked at the terminal for this task. Approach and enter the vehicle. Right, well what we're going to do first is I'm going to take a picture of that. There we go. Right, F to enter. An inbound Ooh. aircraft will be arriving soon. And I have received information that the crew has requested follow me support. That start the is coincidental. Because we need to learn line. how to do that. Right, start the vehicle. So we press, is it zero? O. Right, E for the end. Open o for operational lights. Right, there we go. You'll Tablet. Map. The aircraft at the designated taxiway intersection. Okay, so we need to we need to Remember go there. That every aircraft moving on the apron has priority on taxiways and intersections. Right. Drive so we need to go the left. Roads on the apron near the terminal. And then right at the T junction, left at the T junction, and then off we go. Right, okay. 
that's fine. Right. Oh, it's it's given us a a, a list, a, a play. Uh, oh, I don't know where I'm going. Right, off we go. I don't know if uh, if the old steering wheel will be working. It doesn't seem to be working now. But then again, I have only just plugged it in. Wait, round we go. So we'll we'll just use the uh, the W A S and D for now. I'm glad it's given us a line to follow. Oh, I can't get it perfectly in line. That's so annoying. Are we are we going the right way here? Yeah, right. Wow, it's over a kilometre away. I'm absolutely sure I'm not driving on the correct bit of road here. Way. Oh, there's a plane here. Looks like it's got no wheels. That's a bugger if it's on the ground and it's got no wheels. Right. Here it is. What have we got? We're not very fast, are we? Can we not go faster than 90 kilometres an hour? We've got a plane to, to see. What is it? Is it a, It's a bow in this, isn't it? Looking at it. Right, hang on. Oh, are we just... Yeah, we'll, we'll just whiz across the runway then, shall we? Nobody's coming. Excellent. Oh, yeah, it is a bow in. You can see the, uh, the scimitar winglets on the end there. Great. Right. Right, we'll what spin round. Position yourself in front of the plane so that the back of your vehicle is facing the aircraft's we? nose. Now, there we go. You need to activate the follow me sign Ooh. on the roof of your vehicle so that the pilot knows to follow you. Follow the instructions displayed on screen. He says to follow me, but surely he must know to follow me because I'm the only chump that's in this airport. Seems to be abandoned. Right. His wheels turning. To the parking area assigned to this aircraft. Maintain a speed of about 30 kilometers an hour. Stay within sight of the pilots and do not stray too far from the aircraft. The distance between you and the aircraft should never be less than 100 meters. Oh, he's following me. Oh, my lord. Right, okay. Please tell me that we can have controller support because I don't really want to bounce all the way to the, the terminal. Let's have a look in the options. Settings. Oh, what's happening? Right, there we go. Why is the... Oh, no, it's doing this. Controls. Steering wheel. Ah! Right, hang on. Can we... That, that would be good. Right. Uh, can we, can we, can we, like, calibrate a, a steering wheel? It doesn't appear to say so. Right, hang on. We, we can't... Right, we're going to have to bounce all the way to the terminal now. Where is he? Oh, my goodness. I know he's not chasing me. He's not going to run me over, is he? Right, there we go. We'll, we'll just... Oh, right, we shouldn't be less than 100 metres away. Right, come on, get your foot down then. Crack on. But we shouldn't be more than 250 metres away, so we'll... Uh, Hell, where's the taxiway go? You are too far from the plane. I thought it said 250 metres away. Well, he can see me. Don't tell me I have to go back for him. Has he stopped? Are you having a laugh? Hello? Perhaps he shouldn't be flying a plane if he can't see this far in front of him. Why are the engine cowlings bouncing up and down in the... Uh, it's not wing flex, it's actual engine, the, the black spinny thing's bouncing up and down. It looks like we're on, uh, up in a dodgy car park, the way this car's bouncing up and down, for goodness sake. Come on! Thought you could taxi it up to 30 knots. This is going to be a long trip to the airport, isn't it? Oh, I'm I'm really good that you can uh, you can actually use a controller. I want to use a controller. Can you change the view at all? Oh, ground crew. Right, perhaps I can use the ah. Right, I want to zoom out. No, I'm going backwards. F3, ah, there we go, no, F4, F2, F1, ah, so F3 actually focuses on, on what you're doing, so the plane, right, 
Right, here we go. Yeah. Round to the left. Right, are you, are you keeping up there? Yeah. Lovely. Right, we'll just stop here for him to catch up. Oh, that's quite a nice shot. Love that. Lovely. Do you know what? It, it, you can tell it's a 737-800, can't you? They're, they're at, well, it's not. It's a 737 Max from the Winglers. Um, but you can tell what it's meant to be. I mean, I know the livery is absolutely diabolical, isn't it? But, I mean, that's a pretty good thing that you can tell what it's meant to be. I mean, you can obviously see the uh, when we looked in the menu for the liveries, there was the Airbus A320 as well. So, you know, it's, it's good that they're using real planes and they're not using, like, the... I don't know, we'll, we'll use like uh, Open TTD, for example, using air taxis and Darwins or something like that. So they've obviously got licensing on it to be able to use the names. That's pretty cool. I like that. There we go, we'll have another picture. If I take my headphones off. Oh, there we go. That's why it's so quiet. Because I have my headphones on. We. So obviously, if they're offering like workshop and mod support at this time for people to do liveries, perhaps they'll make it so people can do planes. Ooh. All right, I'm I'm feeling that we could spend quite a bit of time on this game. All right, we'll stop there. Wait for him to. Uh... It's taken us quite a long time to get here, but I guess the. Uh... You can't rush these things at an airport. It's quite slow when you're on the ground, isn't it? I have a whole new respect now for when I'm uh, on flight simulator and GSX is doing me a follow me car. And I'm there like, oh, I can't keep up. Slow down, slow down. No, not me, slow down. You speed up, for goodness sake. Right, there we go. Right, we'll stop in this box. Great. The pilot can already identify their parking area thanks to your guidance. I'm glad. Drive to the end and park on the service road in the designated area. Um. Ah! There we go, right. Right, we'll press K to turn the follow me off. Because he should know there. Right, hang on, on the service road. There is no service road. You have just learned how to perform a general follow me procedure. In Hooray! Oh, you can tell we're going to crash, can't you? Apron and triple check which stand you need to bring the aircraft to. See you later. Oh, see you in a bit. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming. Right, okay, back to the uh, the the loading screen. I said loading screen. It would be quite nice if they put something here while it was loading, rather than just a black screen to look at, and then obviously, boom, the the bright colours will go. Oh, hey, no like no smooth fade or anything, just to get your eyes used to it. Just, you know, this is the only negative thing I can see so far. Uh, the chap in the uh, in the tutorial could put a glass eye to sleep. Yep, that's, that's true. Uh, right, let's learn how to be a chap called Marshall. Hmm. Oh, and we get to put the luggage on and off. There's a lot that we get to do here. This is, I mean, to be fair, I'm a very multi-skilled member of staff here, aren't I? Getting to do all these jobs. No. Oh. Swiss! Oh, I downloaded that. Oh, hang on, we have to do this plane. With an automatic visual docking guidance system. Ooh, scary. ADGS, which, just like a marshaller, except digital, also guides an aircraft correctly. But it has to be switched on by an idiot like me. The remaining stands that do not have this system are handled by a member of ground crew to marshal aircraft in. Which is much better. The goal is for the marshaller to assist the pilot accurately manoeuvring the aircraft onto the correct parking tee. The cockpit crew sit above the main wheel of the aircraft and don't have clear I mean, visibility. He needs to, to get ahead with his chatting, otherwise we're gonna miss it. Location. So it's crucial this process is accurately managed from the outside to result in the most correct parking position, allowing equipment such as jetways to properly and safely connect to the aircraft. Excellent, yes. As you can see, the correct points or parking tees are marked on oh, the we're at the wrong place here. the aircraft is supposed to park. Each I thought it was going in over there. Front wheel on the line. 
Edinburgh but which Garth, line? There are special cases where the lines are painted and marked differently than usual. Pilots must make an almost 90 degree turn so that the ground markings are visible correctly when they approach the stand head on. And the lines are marked by perpendicular lines or lines that Should mark pop in the there. or beginning of a turn. Each gate is marked by a white or red line. Oh, should we pop him there? Because then he can drive forward and right. Present within their range, unless the gate is specifically not in use. Excellent. As you can see, at the first stand, there are cones lying there. Oh, there are. Your task is to clear the stand and move them to a safe Right. Place. Okay. F we to pick up. Can I pop that on top of that and do to. multiple? Oh, I can. Right. I can carry multiple cones. There we go. Oh, and it has actually, if you look at them, you can see there's three stacked on top of each other. An aircraft is already approaching the stand. Oh, well, just give me Take a minute. By the stand, following the information no, no, just pop the cones on the floor there. Not very professional, but... Right, where's the... But this here. Right. Why to enter martial mode? Oh, the I've got my glow sticks. Now positioned itself at the base of the stand. Guide it to the second T, which is highlighted. Oh, hang on. Right, move left. Aircraft's front wheels must be on the line, and the aircraft itself should be as parallel to it as possible. Right, so I'm telling him to go left. On screen to guide the aircraft. Right, and then I'm going to stop now. Go forward, right, right a bit. Oh, this is, this is terrifying. How did they do it? Well, obviously like this. Oh, precision. Look at that. Right. Slow down a bit, yeah. No, speed up a bit. Right, slow down. Ah, stop, stop, stop. I mean, just, just stop now. Bit sharper, you know. Great. You have It'll just do. learned how to marshal an aircraft onto a stand safely and accurately. See you next time. No, okay, that was easy enough. That was a much more fast-paced tutorial. That's the sort of tutorial I can get behind. Oh, we're not going to get them all done today, are we? There's, there's so much that, like, we need to learn. It's quite a steep learning curve, isn't it? I mean, I'm quite lucky in the sense of, from my flight simulator background, I have a, a vague idea what everybody does, you know, so I think it'd be quite easy. I, I know how to do it, but at the same time, I haven't got a clue how to do it. Right, chock some cones. Uh, right, oh my lord, look at how much we've got to do. And you even learn the different luggage depending on the aircraft as well. Right, let's learn how to, how to play with chocks and cones. See, it lo the game loads so quick, yet the menu takes forever. Oh, we appear to be in the sky. Oh, Ryanair! Oh, picture, but that tutorial's in the way. Right, let's get some wheel chocks. Oh! I don't think I should be stood here while he's approaching the gate. Right, set of wheel chocks. Where's the, where's the cones? Oh yeah, we don't need them. Right, F. F. I mean, are we... Oh no, hang on. Three. The aircraft has arrived at the gate. Right. And engines and all beacon lights are switched off. I mean, I would has a... I would say that the, air, the engines are not turned off. Place a set chocks. of chocks under the wheels. To do this, Approach and point at the front wheels and press Can we, the we just nip under here? No. Nope. Hang on. Coming round. Yep. Great. I think oh, it's very hot it. still behind this engine. Repeat the same process for the rear left and right wheel sets. Yep, done that. Now head over to the indicator. He can't keep up with me. How many cones do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No, five. Can we only carry five at once? That's so annoying. Oh no! Right. How do we? How do we rotate it? Ah, clever. Right, we'll, we'll do that. Oh no! Why is it? Why is that happening? There we go. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Cone. 
The engine's still spinning very, very fast. I'm pretty sure that I'm not meant to be stood here. Do not walk underneath the wing. That's what EasyJet always say. Right, cone there. I guess it doesn't have to be exact, does it? There we go. Cone. That's annoying that you need six cones and I can only carry five. I'll have to go back and pick another one up while we're here. Right, here we go. I'm a professional cone carrier. Right, there we go. Right, get that. No, spin it round. Oh, right. Oh, use the middle mouse button to set it up. Right, oh, right, okay, yeah, that's... That's easier than trying to mess about with it. Yeah, if you read the instructions, there we go. Cone there. Let's just nip round to this cone here. If I take my headphones off... Ah, there we go, it's much better. You can just hear the, uh, the APU. Right, cone. Ah, look at that. The bypass pin needs to be inserted into its slot on the strut... So that's at the front, front here. Do I need to pick up a bypass pin or have I got it? Oh, and it's got the, the remove before flight. Yeah, could you imagine if they forgot? Flipping it. Pressurized hydraulic systems during a pushback procedure. You'll learn more about this in another tutorial. Now approach the front wheel. I've, I've done it. Firmly done it. Congratulations. Thank you. You have just prepared and secured the aircraft for parking and further servicing. Excellent. Now we will present you with the same scenario, but in reverse. Oh, right, so we're preparing it for departure. But I don't think we'll... Ta Airport, we have a oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, so we, it won't need to be pushed back. So we can take the bypass pin out before it's pushed. Yeah. This means the final step of this process will be taking the bypass pin out of the front gear strut. I mean, I, don't, I think he will need pushing because he's not on a swivelly stand. The aircraft has already been serviced. Or is it this one? Is it that one? Is it this one? Is it the Ryanair one? It is. Aha! Or parking stand is identified by a red or white perimeter outline. When the aircraft is in motion and its engines are running, no unnecessary objects, vehicles, or personnel should be inside this area. This is due to the risk of the aircraft colliding with a vehicle or unwanted objects being sucked into the engine. I mean, I can't imagine a comb being sucked into if the engine would be particularly good for the aircraft. And the yeah. Area is not clear, you'll be notified through your in-game tablet. Collect right. the cones and wheel chocks and place them in safe areas outside the parking stand's perimeter. Finally, head back over to the aircraft, yep. remove the bypass pin and leave the area. Yep, hang on. Yep, pick the cone. APU's on up there. Right, we'll take this off. Yeah. Come on, let me carry more than more than five cones. Go on. No. Oh, it's so annoying. Right, we'll we'll pop the cones over here. Do the cones have to be in this green circle? Why not? There we go. Right, there we go. It's a shame you can't put them all down at the same time. You know, in a nice, neat little stack. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Right, pick you up. Two cone, three cone. This cone doesn't need picking up. Nobody's going to collide with this cone. I should just leave it there. Right, put these cones in this nice little... Yeah, you, you can't stack them. How very annoying. Right, collect the chocks. We won't take the bypass pin out just yet. Oh yeah, don't walk underneath the wing yet. That's fine. Chocks removed. Well, most of them. There we go. Right, chocks are all removed. How do we put them down, or do we do we just take the bypass pin remove? Bypass pin removed. There we go. Ah! You have completed the training on securing an aircraft when parked at a gate. Is he going to go? Come on, set off then. Ah, oh, lovely. Right, well, that's where we're going to leave it for today. We're going to come back to these tutorials on Airport Sim. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to them, see what it has to offer. I mean, we're doing well so far. I'm going to try and get the steering wheel uh, configured, because obviously we're going to be doing a lot more driving, so it would be quite nice if that worked. Uh, but, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this one. I'm intrigued. Okay, it's perhaps not the prettiest of games. When you look into the distance, for example, it looks a bit... 
Looks a bit clunky, doesn't it? But I mean, to be fair, it's all there what we need to do. Like I say, the chap that can put a glass eye to sleep appears to be in it for the long run, doesn't he? Like, I mean, he's going to be talking to us about all of this. Uh, but yeah, I'll push back, that's going to be a disaster, isn't it? But uh, yeah. I think this will be quite fun to play with friends. So uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please do click the like button. Even if you thought the game was terrible, uh, do let me know uh, what you think. But do leave a like, it's always uh, appreciated. And if you are enjoying this, you want to see more, consider subscribing. Because if we do get a good series going out of this, uh, it would be great if you could keep up with it. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.